Hi everyone, it's Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a tried and true drugstore hypoallergenic favorites for you. And I thought that I would just show you my absolute favorite drugstore makeup that is hypoallergenic as well. And um, we'll just go ahead and do it. Get ready with me. This will be a little bit of a detailed every day. Get ready with me. So it's makeup you could use every day. And I do have a new discovery that I wanted to share with you too in the eye makeup area. So let's just get started. The first thing I wanted to share with you are two favorite drugstore foundations. These are my absolute favorites. And there's one other, which is from Physicians Formula. And that one is the Healthy Skin. I did a whole review of that one and I will link it below in the description box. But these next two are favorites of mine. The Neutrogena Hydra Boost. I love everything about the Hydra Boost range. I've used this every winter for the past few years. I skipped last winter because it wasn't as clean as like the Physician's Formula or some others, but it is hypoallergenic. And lately my eyes have been experiencing irritation from allergies and things like that. So I've been trying to switch over my everyday makeup to hypoallergenic makeup. And I've been sharing a lot of Clinique makeup with you. And some of you have asked me to share some drugstore with you. So I'm happy to do that because drugstore makeup is my first love anyway. I'm all for drugstore makeup. If you can find great products in the drugstore at great prices, that is my preference. So the Neutrogena Hydra Boost and my color is Classic Ivory. This is wonderful. It's so great in the fall and winter months. It has hyaluronic acid in it, so it plumps your skin, and it just makes your skin look better in the winter time. And it actually not only makes it look better, but it actually kind of heals it by having the hyaluronic acid in it. Um, this isn't going to really cure your dry skin by itself, but if you're doing all those other things like drinking water, moisturizing, and trying to just take care of your skin, this will definitely help along the way. The next one is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. And I started trying this one because Beauty by Anne Marie talked about it on her channel, and it's her favorite foundation, and she wore it to her daughter's wedding. So that really meant a lot to me. I thought if I'm going to choose it, the drugstore foundation to wear to my daughter's wedding. It must be really good. And it is. This one is a fuller coverage than the Hydra Boost. So, and this one has an SPF of 20 in it and it's a chemical SPF. It's titanium dioxide. So I just wanted to tell you that it isn't a mineral sunblock, but that doesn't really bother me. So I know some of you really need to use mineral sunblock, so I wanted to make sure I let you know that. But it's a medium to fuller coverage. It's beautiful, it lasts all day long, it doesn't grab onto dry patches, and it just looks fresh all day long. So right now I am struggling with some dry skin and some irritation. I've got a little breakout. I had used my um, summer skincare a little too long into the fall and I dried out my skin a little bit and that happens often. The weather changes and the moisture goes out of the air and I have to then do a little bit of repair and that's what I'm doing right now. And mostly my skin is looking a lot better but um, yeah, I'm still working on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Hydrating Tint. I love stick foundations and I also have it in the stick formula. So if you'd like to see a review of the stick formula later, I'd be happy to share that with you. Just do a quick little video or I could even include it in, in a vlog. So just let me know, but if you don't care, I mean, it's just a stick foundation, but it does have hyaluronic acid in it as well. I prefer the creamy one from the Hydra Boost and I love that it has the doe foot applicator. And this is really just how I put it on with the applicator because I'm the only one who uses it anyways. And I go through my foundations pretty quickly. If I have a foundation I like, I'll just use it until it's all gone. So this is gonna be gone by the time January gets here probably, maybe definitely by the end of the winter. And I just have a damp beauty sponge. This applies better with a beauty sponge than with my Tarte foundation brush that I like so much. Um, I'm not sure why, I just prefer it. Maybe because the moisture from the sponge really helps with the hyaluronic acid in the formula. It just looks better. So I'm using a sponge. 
and it's a nice medium coverage right off the bat. And then you can see my freckles through it, which I don't mind, but sometimes I want a little bit of a fuller coverage. And if I do, I'll just go over in those areas. So um, yeah, just put it there. I'll just do my T-zone a little better. I do get a little bit of an oily breakthrough in my T-zone, but this foundation doesn't really allow it to show. So I think that's really good. It's a foundation that I think looks better as the day goes on. And then I just kind of bring it down just to make sure everything's matching. And I think this comes in like 10 shades, like around 10. Okay, the next thing is something I've been wanting to try for a long time, and I finally did, and it is the concealer. It's the Hydro Boost Concealer, and it has a little bit of a, like a balm inside the center of it, and this is a really nice concealer. I probably should put it on after I put on my, my eyeshadow, but um, I could always reapply it then too. I'm just excited to show it to you. It's a hydrating concealer and it has hyaluronic acid in it. And I don't like to go with the very lightest one because you know, like I've shared with you before, I don't wanna draw attention to my under eyes. And if I go with the same tone as my foundation or even just ever so slightly darker, it will detract attention from my under eye. Whereas if I use a lighter one, my under eye will just kind of come out and I don't like that. I've tried Physicians Formula eyeshadow in the past. And I found it to be very dusty and not have a lot of color payoff. So I didn't want to purchase a Physicians Formula eyeshadow. And um, Neutrogena doesn't really make a lot of eyeshadow. They just have these singles. At least that's what I found at my drugstore and the color ranges were all very similar. But All May does make these nice little palettes, and I think there's about five of them. And I have another one that I tried first, and I really, really like it. I think my daughter took it when she went back to college, so I can't show that one to you. But I did go out and purchase another one for myself, and this one is called, it's a Smoky Eye Trio, and this is Smolder Sizzle, Lavender, Lavender Haze. And this is what it looks like. And I am just gonna do a super simple eye look. And I'm going to use the little sponge that comes in it. And I'm just gonna do exactly as this shows, as if this was my eye. <laughs> so I'm gonna make it so fast and easy. And these have the most amazing color payoff. Look at this. It's not, it doesn't, it's not like choppy or chalky. And the color path is just amazing. And it lasts and lasts even without a primer beneath it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the lavender and just go right onto my crease with that. I love these little palettes that are no brainers like this. CoverGirl makes their eye enhancers and I always loved those even still. Um, but I love that this is hypoallergenic. Now the white has a little shimmer to it and I don't mind that. I'm also gonna put it right here and then I'm gonna put a, a little bit of the white in the center of my mobile lid and that is all I'm gonna do for my eye on this eye for my shadow and I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. So pretty. I really wanna get more of these I should get a warm toned one. I have two. The one my daughter took is also cool. It's a smoky eye and it's like a navy blue matte. And then it has mauve tones that go above it in the crease. And then also a white at the top. And it's so, so pretty. I wore it to a family gathering and I got so many compliments from like my nieces who are like 20, my niece, Anna, she's so sweet. She's like, you did your eye makeup differently. She's not used to seeing me with a smoky eye. And I really liked the way it looked in the pictures. So um, I definitely love these. I'm gonna take this little smoky slate color and put a little beneath my eye. And they're hypoallergenic and fragrance-free, and that's really good. I've been gravitating to, toward all my Clinique eyeshadows lately because my eyes have been irritated this fall. 
with allergies and things like that. And I find that the All May eye makeup doesn't irritate my eyes at all. I'm just gonna go in with a little Physicians Formula eyeliner. This is their booster. It has something in it to help your lashes grow as well. And I really like this eyeliner a lot. It's become a favorite of mine and I've gone through several little tubes of it. And I really just like it very close to my lash line because I like it to just make my mascara look a little bit thicker. You know, I like to have it just look a little more cohesive. Now my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Mascara, I already started and forgot to tell you. <laughs> but this has hyaluronic acid in it and it's a volumizing mascara. It has just a nice, like kind of a tilted spoolie, which is really handy and easy to use to grab all your lashes. Um, it does not smear on me during the day. It doesn't flake. And I really have no complaints about it. It's a very volumizing mascara. So it doesn't separate as much as some mascaras that I like to use. But a lot of volumizing mascaras don't do a lot of separating. It's just more for thickening. And this definitely thickens my lashes. And I have an oily skin type around my eyes and it does not, um, it doesn't smear or end up like up here or down here during the day. So that is really important to me. And flaking is definitely a deal breaker and it doesn't flake. So anyways, so that's what that looks like. That was a super easy eye look. You saw how quick it was. I could do probably the eye look in, you know, in less than a minute, but I was talking through it. So super easy and it has, you know, a little smoky eye going on. I'm just right. going to set my foundation with some Mineral Fusion Loose Powder. I really like these loose powders. They're mineral powders and I think they're really great. Um, it's probably my favorite drugstore powder. I like the Maybelline Fit Me as well, but I think it's as good as the Fit Me. This one's cleaner and it's hypoallergenic. I'm just gonna use a Real Techniques fluffy brush. And I have my butter blush. It does smell like coconuts. It's not fragrance-free. So if you are absolutely fragrance-free, you're not gonna like this. But this is like a cult classic. Everybody seems to like it. I haven't heard of anyone reacting to it, but I know some people have problems with coconut and this definitely has a coconut fragrance. And it's just a really nice earthy, not too shimmery. It's like a bronzer and blush in one. It's perfect for my skin tone. And the color is Natural Glow. I just love the way it smells. The next thing I'm gonna do is put on my lip product. You know that I love the Clinique Chubby Sticks. I've been sharing these a lot with you lately. So I did go ahead and try the Neutrogena Chubby Sticks, and this is the Moisture Smooch from the Hydra Boost range. And this is in Soft Raspberry, and it looks pretty neutral, but wait until you see the color payoff on this. These things are really, really good and so moisturizing. So there you go. There is the Moisture Smooch Chubby Stick. They're not called Chubby Sticks. They're called Moisture Smooch Color Sticks from Neutrogena Hydro Boost. So this is all of it. This is the whole hypoallergenic drugstore makeup look. If you have any questions or comments, please ask them below. Share your experience with hypoallergenic makeup down below too. I think it helps a lot of us who really struggle with allergies, particularly in the fall time. And when we're battling dry skin and allergies. Oh, it's so unpleasant. So thank you for spending some time with me and I hope you all have a very blessed and beautiful day. I'll see you next time.